Cheers, I do buckaroos. How the heck are you? I am Tom the Beer Whisperer. I've got a great big one. It's one of those, like, you know, anytime I get one this big, I think about sharing it with friends, but, uh, you know, <laughs> sometimes things just don't work out that way. Uh, I'd like to do things, uh, you know, at my pace, not others. So. <laughs> Anyways, uh, sometimes things don't work out. Uh, the Mundertaker Imperial Oatmeal Stat with Peanuts and Chocolate. So they had their cask sale the Saturday after Black Friday, or I guess maybe it was the Saturday before, I think. Um, yeah, it was Saturday before. So I, I picked up a few things. I paid for it. I went down, sat down in the tap room, got one of these. I didn't buy this beer. This wasn't one of the beers I bought, but I, I got a glass of it to try it because when I looked at the things, man, this was probably not me. And then I had a glass of it, and I went back up there and bought one. <laughs> Because it really was that good. I get imperial oatmeal stout with peanuts and chocolate. What I was told though is it uses a little bit of peanut butter powder, but it is aged on dry roasted peanuts. Yeah, think of dry, dry. Uh, think of. Uh, let me start again. <laughs> it is aged on roasted peanuts. It is aged on roasted peanuts. So think about dry hopping with peanuts, and <laughs> that's what you get with this beer. So anyway, let me show you that label. It is, I think it says 14%, 14.5%. Wow, it's a big one. It's a big one, so I'm drinking this one in stages. <laughs> drinking it in stages, man. I'm going to drink a little bit with you. I'm going to put it up for a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. So you feel those big oatmeal imperial stout notes on the nose. I get a lot of uh, kind of bittersweet chocolate or dark chocolate initially. You certainly feel just a hint of peanut butter, but you really get those big dry or those, those big. I keep wanting to say dry roasted peanuts, just roasted peanut notes. But you feel a lot of chocolate, so it's kind of like that chocolate peanut. Almost feels like a peanut cluster kind of note on the nose. I think that's why I was drawn to it, because I love the peanut cluster. You get the dark chocolate, the peanuts, and that's what I'm feeling on the nose here. It, will take, it took me about 10 minutes. It took me a long time and a whole lot of cussing <laughs> to get the wax off of this bottle. Oh, my gosh, man. I mean, I'll, admittedly, I've got my hands are very arthritic, but... Uh, Holy Moses, I was having a hell of a time getting that wax off of that bottle. <laughs> it was, man. Oh, I don't know that I ever had a hard, that hard a time getting wax off a bottle, but that one, boy. <laughs> oh, boy, I was, oh, whew. I think that's another reason why I changed my mind. I went up and bought a bottle because, again, it didn't taste like a peanut butter oatmeal stout. And I'm tired, you know, I'm not, well, maybe that's the wrong thing to say. I'm just saying because I'm tired of them. I'm just, there's a lot of them out there. There's a lot of peanut butter, this, that, and the other out there. And a lot of them taste like a peanut butter cup. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that. But this one doesn't taste like a peanut butter cup. It tastes like a, it tastes like a peanut cluster. Dark chocolate peanuts. Yeah, it doesn't taste like that peanut butter cup. You feel the peanuts rather than the peanut butter. And I think that's what makes this beer different. 14.5%. I mean, wow. Can you feel some alcohol in this? Yeah, you absolutely can. It's 14.5%. You should. But it doesn't feel boozy. It doesn't get to off-putting for me. Doesn't feel a doesn't feel a tad over eleven and a half. <laughs> Anyway, if I was to guess, I'd have said 11 and a half, man. <laughs> 14 and a half, holy Moses. Uh, three more percentage points than I thought. Oh my gosh, this beer's gorgeous. And again, that's what I think is interesting about this beer. I think that's the main reason I went and bought it. It just it tastes like a good peanut cluster rather than a peanut butter cup. Because again, you you feel you feel you feel whole roasted peanuts more so than peanut butter even though I was told there is a little bit of peanut butter powder in this but it's aged on roasted peanuts and that's what makes this beer rather interesting for me 
And, and again, it is rather sweet initially, and it is th those roasted peanuts, oddly enough, that really cleans it up a lot like dry hopping. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous, man. This beer is insane. It's when I thought about, you know, bottle sharing. But then sometimes it's just hard to arrange schedules. And I get tired of waiting on folks sometimes. <laughs> so it's great. Now that, and, you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting a, a tad uh, antisocial at my old age. <laughs> don't mind being around people. I, I really don't. But I kind of like being at home. <laughs> Uh, the older I get, yeah, the more I'm really uh, uh, enjoying my curmudgeon phase. Even when I do get out, to be honest with you, I, I tend to prefer to go by myself. I like seeing friends out. I just don't want to have to arrange something to meet a friend out because then you've got that implied social contract, right? I want to accidentally run into folks. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I mean, I can walk into almost any you know, craft brewery in town at any time and accidentally see somebody I know and talk to them for a few minutes, talk to them for five minutes or talk to them for an hour or however, you know, but I'm not, I'm not obligated to because I didn't agree to meet them there. <laughs> the older I get, the more I get that way. And I, 2020 kind of, you know, hurried me in that direction, I guess. The less I was able to go out, the less I wanted to go out. <laughs> <laughs> bottom line bottom line is this is an absolutely gorgeous beer uh wow it is one that took me by surprise because when i saw all the beers here uh, i was looking for mostly the batter familias and and what milk they had left i wasn't looking for specialty beers like this that uses this that and the other because it's not typically my thing but I tell you, when I had a glass of this at the brewery, oh man, they made a believer out of me. I had to go back and buy one. It's kind of why I wanted one now, because it just sounded good. You know, we got a little bit of a chilly day. We've got some snow here. No, that's not real, right? That's not real, Tom. Now, we don't have snow here, but it is chilly, and I don't want to get out. It just felt like, you know, and I got it at the about the perfect temp because I did not have this in the fridge. But it has been cold the last few days here in the Ozarks. I had it in the garage in a metal cabinet where I probably got it at that very optimal, you know, 50 to 55 degree range where it ought to be drank. Yeah, when I got it at the brewery, it came out so cold that I actually had I let it sit for about 10 minutes even before I took a drink. I said, okay, we got to let this thing warm a little bit, man. Well, that's not true. I took a drink initially, so okay, it's cold. But I, you know, I kind of waited about 10 minutes before I drank any more because I wanted it to warm up. Kind of did this number with it, let it warm up a little bit, you know. But I like doing this, so I like kind of checking the nose and setting it back down and seeing how it changes. Even now, I, I have noticed some changes in it. I love those big, deep, dark chocolate notes. And those roasted peanut notes, because again, it doesn't feel like a peanut butter cup. It feels like a peanut cluster. It feels like a dark chocolate peanut cluster. And that, see, that's my favorite thing. I love dark chocolate peanut cluster. And that's the aromas. That's the flavors this beer puts out. Oh my goodness. And my friends, I, I don't get to Mother's very often anymore for one reason or another, but in fact, I've probably only been there about three times this year. I just haven't been getting out anywhere. Uh, I, don't, I don't, I mean, I've been to, I've got a mug at Springfield Brewing Company and I've been there less than a dozen times. And so I'm, I'm not necessarily getting my money's worth out of it, but I love to know what's there when I go, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I tried to get a mug or I did have a mug over at Tie and Timber this year, but I've only been out there, I've only been out there three times as well. So I just, I'm not getting out enough, but, uh, but my friends over at Mother's always treat me well. Kyle, Jasmine, and others. Those are the two names I know. Most of the other folks I've, I've known out there have left over the years. Those are the two left. And of course, the owner, Jeff, I see every once in a while. But I do admit that yeah, when they do see me, I do get treated extremely well out there. 
it always makes me want to get out there more, but then something happens and I'm not able to get out. But uh, I like to hit the seller sale. This particular beer is absolutely gorgeous, so I gotta tell you, wow. Anyways, uh, anyway, <laughs> anyways, uh, anyways, I digress. Uh, let me show you that bottle one more time before I wrap this up. The Mundertaker. Imperial Oatmeal Stout with peanuts and chocolate, which is why you get those big chocolate notes, Tom. Uh, you do feel that oatmeal is great in here too, that oatmeal stout, because it does, it does give you body. There's a paragraph here that I'd like to be able to read for you, but that writing is tiny. <laughs> my lighting isn't great here. My eyes are very old, so I'm not even going to attempt it. Uh, vintage 2022 Mundertaker. <laughs> this is one uh, I might have thought about hanging on to and aging in all honesty, but uh, I really wanted to drink it. <laughs> I've been thinking about it all day, man. I really am. So of the beers that I have, this is one of them I really want to get into. So there you go. Anyway, I digress. I, but I digress, man. I am Tom the Beer Whisperer, Beer Evangelist, prolific beer drinker, purveyor of wisdom, man. All around, good guy. I don't know that I'd advocate this, but I'm almost tempted. I'm almost tempted to salt the rim. <laughs> yeah, so you got that salted peanut thing. Are you following me? Anyway, have a good one, guys.